hello guys in this video we will see how to download and install then we will see how to transfer files by using win scp from windows to linux server as well as linux to windows open any browser then go to any search engine and search for download win scp download see this is the official website go to this website scroll down see here we have the at present available version is win scp 5.19 click on it see download has been started then go to downloads see download is completed now click on this show in folder or just click on this win scp setup.exe file Here we have to select install mode for all users are only for myself. I am going with all, install for all users. If you receive user account control then just click on S. Then go through the license agreement. And click on accept. Here we have two types of setups. One is typical installation and second one is custom installation. I am going with typical installation. Then click on next. Here we have to select initial user settings. I am going with default commander user interface style. Then click on next. See this is the summary of the options we have selected for WinSCP. Then click on install. It is saying I have another tools, those are putty and filezilla and then few settings are there. It is asking us to import them but at present I don't want. If you want to import those settings then click on yes otherwise no. Click on next. See we have successfully installed WinSCP on Windows 10 operating system. If you want to donate to WinSCP click on this PayPal and donate. If you want to launch WinSCP, then check this box. If you don't want, then just click on Finish. We have successfully installed WinSCP on Windows operating system. Now open WinSCP. Now open WinSCP. Start programs. WinSCP. See, this is the application. Just click on it. See, this is the WinSCP console. See, left side it is showing the my windows operating system. Now click on, if you want to connect a host, just click on new session. Here we have to provide the host name. Here we have to provide host name or IP. See, see this is the my IP. You can give any remote IP. Then port number. Then here we have to provide the username. Here we have to provide the username for the remote host. Here username is this one. That is R2 schools. Then provide the password for that user. Then click on login. This is SSH, SSH key confirmation. Just click on yes. See, we have successfully connected to my remote host, that is Linux server. Now, we are going to transfer files from this Windows to this Linux. I have some file in my downloads. Open, browse, then go to downloads, click on OK, then click on OK. See. I have these many files. See, these are the files available in my directory. Suppose if I want to transfer this file Cassandra design pattern to Linux, that is Red Hat, just drag to this one. 
it is asking confirmation just click on ok see the file has successfully transferred the same way if you want to transfer this file to windows just click on the file and drag to left side see it is showing the transfer rate and bytes transferred also it is showing the time file has been successfully transferred to my local disk and this is the path the file where it is transferred let's verify the file has been successfully transferred to linux host or not open putty and verify see the file cassandra design patterns has been successfully transferred in the same way go to this directory in your windows and verify so in this video we have seen how to download and install WinSCP on Windows 10 operating system then we have seen how to connect to remote host from the WinSCP then we have seen how to transfer files from Windows to Linux as well as Linux to Windows. For more videos please subscribe my channel. Thank you.